Okay, let's go through the course walkthrough since this video is going to work. All right, so let's say I came from the dashboard. Um, you can even look at courses here. It'll list your courses right here. Um, all courses will be here. So you'll find your English course, click on that. And this will be the first page that it brings you to. Okay, so it should, should look just like this. You have these wonderful quick links here, getting started quick link. That's going to take you through all the getting started information, um, your email, where to find your content, your assignments, quizzes, I mean everything. Once you have completed all of these, your first like quiz is actually your acknowledgement form quiz. So you'll take that quiz basically saying, yes, I read through all of this information and I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, so that's gonna be the quiz. So that also takes you into your modules. We'll come back to that, okay? Back to your quick links, class announcements. Make sure you uh, pop into those once in a while just to make sure uh, you're checking the announcements. So this is the announcement here that tells you how to access our live learning sessions. Our live learning sessions will be Thursdays at 8 p.m. And we will actually be doing a writing focused live learning session on Thursday. So I encourage you guys all to attend that. It tells you how to access that here by clicking on live learning sessions. And then I'll show you what happens when you click on live learning sessions. When you click live learning sessions, it takes you to the link here, which is our Jigsaw Learning Room, our live session room. That's where we will meet every Thursday at eight o'clock. And that's where, where you will have your live session. If you cannot attend the live session, all good. The recording is here. It'll have the date, it'll have the topic, and it'll have notes on what the session is. So you can watch that whenever you have time. Class resources. If you have questions on basically anything, this student success site is going to answer them all for you. All right, I'll also be putting important links here as well when we come across the need for those. Whoopsies, sorry about that. If you need my phone number or my email, you can find it here. There's also this beautiful biography that I made for you guys if you feel like learning more about me. So, all my info is here, email, phone number, hours of availability, and again, the live learning sessions. So let's talk about modules. This is the most important part of the course, okay? Modules here, this is your textbook. This is where all the information you need to know is, where all your assignments are, where all the information on your quizzes come from. Once you click on modules, you've gone through this one before you start your course because you've taken the acknowledgement quiz, hopefully. If you haven't, make sure you do that. Then you'll go through the intro section, okay? This just kind of goes through the standards and you'll complete your first assignment, the introduce yourself discussion. To complete the assignment, you will click on it. You will read the prompt, it tells you everything you want to um, answer right here. And all you will need to do here is, not that, that's the rubric, reply to this prompt. And you will type it in. Hello. I don't know what was, ha what was happening right there. Anyways, you'll type your discussion here, post reply, and that's your assignment submitted. Now, make sure here, it says, make sure to reply to two classmates from here forward in order to receive full credit on discussion posts. So you also have to go into your classmates' um, posts and reply to those, okay? I'm going to cancel that because I'm not actually going to put that in the course because that's weird. So let's go back here. You can ask to access modules over here. Now we get into the real stuff, okay? That was just like a practice. It, it really is an assignment, though. Research and MLA Foundations. This is your first module title, okay? To open up the module, you'll click here on the link, open it in a new page, 
and you'll see each of these pages that you'll want to go through. So the first page is just kind of an introduction. It lists the assignments that you're going to find. Then all the content, well, these are um, key terms that you'll want to make sure you know. Then the content actually here in this module starts on page three. So you'll go through the writing process. What is pre-writing? You have a self-assessment. And then ooh, we have our first assignment, okay, the thesis discussion. All right, if we don't make sure that we watch the videos prior, you might have a little bit of trouble completing the thesis discussion. You want to make sure you've watched this video, the writing process, because it goes through and explains how to create that thesis statement, okay? It will most likely be different from what you've done in the past, okay? Because we're doing like real, real grown up writing, okay? So make sure you know the rules before you submit your thesis discussion because you don't want to have to redo it, okay? So this tells you exactly what you need to do here. Then you'll watch the brainstorm video and then you have a brainstorm assignment, okay? Same thing. Over here in the sidebar, this gives you brainstorm video, that's the transcript for it, but you'll watch the brainstorm video. You have two templates here that you can use over here on this side for your brainstorm assignment, or you can make up your own if you want. But make sure you've watched the brainstorm video so you know how to complete the assignment, okay? Because again, you don't want to have to redo it, right? So once you have watched the videos, you're ready to complete your assignment, then you can pop back over. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm ready to do my thesis discussion. Click on it, same thing, read here, and then just hit reply and post your thesis discussion. Okay, make sure you watch the video first. Then you're ready for your brainstorm assignment. You'll complete it in a Word document or on whatever uh, program you want to use. Submit assignment. You can upload a file here. Choose your file. You'll go on there and you'll find um, find your brainstorm assignment. It'll upload and then you just click submit assignment. Okay, so any kind of Word documents or projects, that's what you'll click to submit your assignment. Uh, choose your file. Okay, so then you're like, oh cool, I'm cruising, like you're checking your feedback, making sure you know, making sure you don't have to redo anything. And then, um, okay, complete page four. Let's look at page four here, okay? The research process. This one's kind of tough, all right? Again, make sure you're watching the videos, the research process, make sure you understand how to format your SN MLA format, finding reliable sources. All of this stuff is required for the assignment, okay? Next page. Cool, cool, cool. We're learning about intros, conclusions. Uh, work cited examples, great. So now you've done the two assignments listed, but you still have your final assessments, okay? You have the, the test, but then you also have the source project, okay? Click here to open up the source chart assignment directions, okay? This is what actually will give you um, the directions and it provides an example for you, okay? So you know exactly what you need to do. Now when you're ready to take your quiz, you'll pop back over here, go back to modules, let's say you've already uploaded your source assignment, your source project, excuse me, you're ready to take your test. You'll click on test. Remember these are timed, okay? So as soon as you hit begin, then you're in it, okay? You can't leave. All right, so then you've done everything in that particular, oops, wrong one, in that particular module, 
Okay, so you finished your first module. Awesome. And then you'll just keep doing the same thing. That's how you access all the information and all the assignments. So your next one is fiction, novels, and short stories. Make sure you have bought your novel and you're reading it, okay? So same thing, introduction, you have your key terms, then you start on page three, your assignment, your novels that were assigned, hopefully you already read, and that's when you start, you go through, you watch the videos, you do your self-assessments, hit next page, videos, self-assessments, all the wonderful knowledge here, definitions, you're going through it, Oops, I keep clicking on that wrong thing. So a ton of different literary terms. A lot of them you will be familiar with. You're going through some fun short stories, and then you get your first assignment, okay, your literary analysis assignment, okay? So this tells you exactly what you need to do for this assignment. And then also you can click here for other directions. Okay, so again, just like we did in the previous module, you'll click back over and you'll come to the, I forgot the, I, I skipped the conflict discussion. See, that's what happens when you go through too fast, you totally miss an assignment. So don't do what I just did and scroll down so fast. Um, but again here, click on it, submit assignment, upload your file, submit, upload your file, submit, bam, okay? Now, how do we know what's due? Great question, I'm glad you asked. On your home page, you have a calendar. Now, your assignments will, so I'm a test student, so you don't see anything on here, uh, but on your calendar, the day after you get course access, all your assignments and due dates will be listed here. So you know exactly when everything is due and when you need to complete it. So make sure you're using that calendar. It will also show up over here on your to-do list, okay, and the course. So those are a couple ways you can see what you need to do and when. So here we have grades. That's where you'll go to check your grades. It'll tell you all the assignments you have, and there will be a little bloop bloop over here. Feedback, that's what you'll click on to view why you received the score you did. Okay, so that's when we are talking about in the welcome session. Make sure to check your feedback. Um, 0365, that's where you find all those programs. 0365 email, that's where you'll find all the info from me. Uh, inbox here, I mean, I can't show you because I'm in student view, I'm not a real student, but that's where you can shoot me a, if you don't want to go to your email, just shoot me a message through the inbox, totally cool. Uh, so basically the most important thing I want you guys to note is that module part. Modules is where you go, you find all your course information, all your content, and all your assignments, okay? So let me know if you have any questions and hopefully this helps you navigate your course in Canvas.